What's going on everybody, King of Dragons 5000 here coming at you with another figure review. Today we'll be having a look at the Storm Collectibles Ringside Exclusive, The Man, The Myth, The Legend, Jushin Thunder Liger. And so here we have Jushin Thunder Liger posing out of the packaging. Before we take a look at the figure, let's actually run through his accessories really fast. Jushin Thunder Liger does come with five pairs of hands. We do get a pair of fists. We get a pair of flat palmed hands. We get a pair of grappling hands, we get a pair of style pose hands, and then we finally get a pair of grip hands. Jushin Thunder Liger also does come with his entrance cape, which does look good. I like the detail on the vest, and the cape is done in a really nice sequence fabric material, so that's really nice. I do like the way it looks on this figure. Other than that, Jushin Thunder Liger doesn't come with anything else, so let's actually move on to his details. And so here we have a closer look at the Ringside Collectibles exclusive Jushin Thunder Liger. Now, we have had a look at this figure in the past. He is the exact same sculpt as the standard release for Jushin Thunder Liger. There's really nothing new about him other than the paint scheme. The paint on this figure and the plastic that he's molded in is completely different. We do have black and gold, which is the dominating colors here, which I do feel like the detail does get lost in the figure now because everything is cast in black. You really don't see the seam lines on his mask as prominent as you did on the red version. But all the details are still there. If you look hard enough, you can see the detailing right here on his mask is really nice. The gold trim on his mask is done really well. You can still see the detailing right here in the mouthpiece, especially right here in the mask mouth, because you can see the fangs right there. Really love the way they sculpted the mesh eyes on Jushin Thunder Liger. I think that's a really nice touch. The gold, of course, is painted phenomenally, and I love the way it looks. Again, we do have the black hair for Juice and Thunder Liger. And then we also do have the ties back here for his mask, which is sculpted really nicely. So they did a really good job with that. Having a look at his outfit, you can see that he has a really nice deco with the black and the gold. Especially right here on this glossy... It's not really black. On camera, it's coming out like a really dark purple, and that's pretty much what it is, but it's really nice and glossy. has some flakes of gold throughout it, so it does bring out that detail. We have some sculpt work right here on his chest emblem, as well as right here on his stomach. Just like with the standard release, everything you see on him is sculpted. There's no just flat painted lines. Anywhere where you see line work, it is sculpted, and we do have some nice paint right here. So really do appreciate that Storm did sculpt this figure to perfection, especially with the wrinkles in his outfit. You can see just how nice those wrinkles look. They look natural, especially for a spandex. You can see that they do stretch and have some folds in them. So really good job by Storm Collectibles here. His fists, of course, not wearing any gloves, but that's perfectly okay. We do have these little fins on the side as well. And the paint on him is just really spot on and unlike the red and white version you don't see that much rubbing when you move things around i know there still will be rubbing but it, it's not as noticeable because it's completely black versus the white and red really do like his belt here you can see they painted the laces right here the gold trim on it is a little bit could be a little bit better on some places but for the most part it is done really nicely again we have more sculpted detail on his legs all these lines really beautifully sculpted and painted they look really good again we have some wrinkles that look really natural and pre that's pretty much how tights look they're not just adhering to your skin they do have some folds on them so I really do like that going on to his kick pads do lose a little bit of detail on the kick pads unfortunately but the kick pads are still here you can see they're nicely sculpted he just has the straight kick pads without the tri wings and then you also have the padding right here which again is a separate piece the boots are nicely sculpted and I really do like that and if you guys don't remember the kick pad itself is a separate piece from his uh, boot, so that's a really nice detail and Storm didn't have to do that but they did. So overall 
Same thing that we've done, but I think he looks a little nicer here in the black and gold. It's a little more defined and you don't have to worry about paint rub as much. So with that out of the way, guys, let's actually move on to comparing them to other figures you might have in your collection. Here we have Jushin Thunder Liger posed next to a Marvel Legends Cyclops and a DC Multiverse Superman. Here we have Jushin Thunder Liger posed next to a WWE Elite Scale figure and a Mezco 112 Collective Popeye the Sailor Man. Here we have Jushin Thunder Liger posed next to a Lightning Collection White Ranger and a Star Wars Black Series Mandalorian. And finally here we do have the Ringside Collectible exclusive Jushin Thunder Liger posed next to the Red and White Jushin Thunder Liger. So with the comparisons out of the way, let's actually move on to his articulation. We do have a ball joint in the head, which works really nicely. You can have him look up and down. We do have some really nice head tilt, so really good movement there. The neck is on a dumbbell joint going up to the head, connecting somewhere in his chest so he can look up a little bit better. And he can look down a little bit better, and that is because Storm does implement soft torso. So really good move there by Storm Collectibles. We do have a shoulder socket going into a ball joint right here into the chest so it can move back, can move forward. If you do push it too far, you run the risk of popping the arm out of socket, but it pops out. It doesn't break, so I do like that. Arm can pivot down, can pivot up, going all the way around, so do like that. Does go all the way around, no problem. Goes out to about that far, again, no problem. We have a really nice bicep swivel double bend in the elbow not quite all the way but we do get at least 90 degrees which is acceptable we do have a ball hinge here at the wrist so we do have some in and out movement we can rotate that to have some up and down movement and then of course it rotates on that pin we do have I'm guessing it's a single could be a double ball joint right here in the torso because he can lean forward to about there looking in there yep it's a double ball joint so double ball joint here in the torso so he gets really nice range although it does gap up if you try doing anything too extreme. Does lean to the side to the other side. Rotates nicely. We do have another ball joint right here at the lower torso or at the waist so he can lean back about that far. In conjunction with both joints he leans back pretty far going forward with both joints. That's really good. Really nice articulation there and of course that swivels and leans side to side he does have legs that kick forward to about there this crotch piece is a soft plastic so it gets out of the way goes back to about that way before it starts looking a little bit awkward out to the side no problem really do like that he does swivel at the thigh kind of stiff on mine but it does move double bend at the knee only going up to about that far which is acceptable he does have a hinge in the foot which goes back and forward. Does he have rotation? No or rotation at the ankle, but he does have forward facing pin for rocker ankle. And then again, we do have a toe hinge. So overall, really love the articulation here on Jushin Thunder Liger. So what we're gonna do now is get him posed for my final thoughts and then we'll wrap up this review. And so here we have the Storm Collectibles ringside exclusive Juice and Thunder Liger pose for my final thoughts. And just like with the red and white version, I absolutely love this figure. Now, getting him in scale with some other figures is kind of tricky, seeing how Juice and Thunder Liger is actually a smaller guy. And Storm Collectibles normally scales their figures up to about 70 inch scale. Juice and Thunder Liger here really doesn't fit into most toy lines. Although, if you really want to fudge it in, you can. It's your action figure. You can do whatever you want with it. This is probably going to be on my desk for the rest of eternity. I love the way this figure looks. And I am a little bit upset that it took me this long to pick up the ringside collectibles Juice and Thunder Liger. Because he has been on and off the site for a really long time. I finally decided to pick him up because you never know when will be the last time... Uh, exclusive will come in stock so getting him in hand now is better than paying outrageous prices for him later now at the time i'm making this video he is still available on ringside collectibles now i don't know how long that is going to be he's been up for about a week now so if you are interested in picking up this figure i really recommend you pick up this version of him if you're on the fence about it i say pull the trigger because as it stands you don't know if ringside will get a restock of this guy and if this goes out of stock chances are it will be out of stock for eternity because storm collectibles does not do reissues 
if you can get your hands on this version of Jushin Thunder Liger, I really recommend you do. And with that being said, guys, I'm King of Dragons 5000. Don't forget to like this video, leave a comment, subscribe to my channel. Go ahead and check out all my other action figure reviews as well as all my other Storm Collectible videos. Hopefully you find them informative. As always, if there's a figure you would like to see me review, let me know down in the comments and if it's in my collection. I'll definitely have a look at it. While you're at it, check out my Instagram account for new and exciting action figure photos. And as always, ring that bell to be notified every time I upload a video. Until next time, guys, I'll see you later. Take care, everyone.